Hey there, family and friends. Welcome to 2012, and it's pretty awesome. I had an amazing new year. I went to a costume party where the theme was uh, be either a past life or your self-actualization. I went with uh, past life. I was a puppy, and a damn good one, if I don't say so myself. And then uh, when we went to the local square where they burn effigies every New Year's to let go of the things that uh, they want to let go of. And so we got some dolls, we burned some effigies, did some fire jumping. I don't know if I'll be able to grab that video off OJ's thing, but uh, we'll see. Right now we're in a bus. We've been, uh, we've been traveling for about, well, it depends. I guess we got on the bus in Vilcabamba at 6. So, and now it's noon the next day, and we're not there yet, but that's how the buses work. Um, so, but anyway, uh, going chronologically, uh, we kind of took it easy on New Year's because the next day we wanted to get up early and hike to uh, this guy's permaculture thing. It was really sick. Eve, Eve is a cool guy. We hung out with him way longer than we needed to. Uh, we hiked up with a couple of horses, a donkey and its baby, and a bunch of gear. And uh, it was fun. We had to like push the donkeys to get them to go. You know, and it was a good time. And then we, uh, then we uh, traded. We we he showed us around his garden, and uh, um, we ended up wasting a lot of time just chatting about conspiracy theories and you know governments and property rights and all these other co kind of cool esoteric topics that we like to talk about. And uh, then we left kind of late and so we were supposed to go see this waterfall and I kind of ran ahead to go check out the waterfall because it was getting dark and those guys were like, no, we got to go. And I was like, no, we got to see this waterfall. And so I ran inside and then I somehow lost my iPhone. It was tragic. I don't know where it went. I looked for it, it took a while, uh, and it got dark, and so we had to start hiking in the, in the dark back without my iPhone, which was tough. Um, but my iPhone had a lot of problems. It, like, I had to be like right next to the Wi-Fi to get it, and its GPS never worked, which I thought was a pro in the States, because I always had 3G. You know, if the Wi-Fi didn't work and the GPS didn't work, it wasn't a big problem. I prefer that the GPS didn't work. But now I have a new iPhone. I uh, met somebody in Vilcabamba who was selling his iPhone, but this one's got different problems. The back is all busted and there's like holes in it. So like it can't get wet. Water could easily leak inside. So that's a little scary, a little dangerous, but at least I have an iPhone still. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it only cost me 250. Uh, silly mistake, but now I know these pants pockets don't work. Um, so the last day we got some chores done. We took our muddy boots to the laundry and all of our muddy clothes and got that settled. And we, uh, I bought the iPhone. We networked with some free energy people, which was really cool. Uh, Felipe is the man. If he ever sees this, I'm sure he won't, but you know, uh, he we tried to talk to more, but they were all like, well, it's scary business, you know, people get assassinated for this stuff, so we don't just talk to anybody about it. Sorry, guys. I mean, like, seriously, that's the way it is. So, at least that was some confirmation on that one. There is a lot of people working on it. The party we went to was actually at Brian O'Leary's house, which I'll link the document, uh, the uh, video down below, but it's called Thrive. It's a very interesting documentary about free energy devices and how they work. And uh, Brian O'Leary is actually in it, and we partied at his house yesterday, or two days ago, on the first. I, I actually have been to his house three times now, but he died a few years ago. No foul play, he was just old. But um, he tried to build a community out in Vilcabama to work on these free energy machines, uh, but there's no luck, so. Oh well, next, maybe, uh, um, maybe next time, maybe if I live in Vilcabamba for a couple months they'll let me in on the inside, but I doubt it. Um, right now we're just, uh, you know, on our bus adventure, on our way to uh, Banos. Banos is a tourist capital. Uh, oh yeah, I already talked to you guys all about Banos. I love that place. Volcano. I can't wait to show Eddie and Sanjeevi and OJ all the, all the action. So, uh, hey, five minutes time limit. See you guys later.